minus e square by 3. What happens when we put x equal to 0? 4 minus e square by 3 plus k is equal to e to the power of 0 that is 1 into c. So this we will treat it as an equation 1. We will try to find the value of c. Now the value of k when we replace it in this equation. What will happen to f of x now? We get f of x plus c minus of 4 minus e square by 3 is equal to e power x into c or can we rearrange the factors and re express this as f of x equal to f of x minus of 4 minus e square by 3 equal to c times e to the power of x minus 1, right? We got another relation again involving f of x, but now the constant of integration is the only participating factor here. What happens if we again integrate this between 0 to 2? Integrate in between 0 to 2. What will happen to this equation? We get integral 0 to 2 e f of x dx plus minus, this is a constant, 4 minus e square by 3 times integral 0 to 2 1 dx is equal to c times integral 0 to 2 e to the power of x minus 1 dx. But the value of integral between 0 to 2 f of x dx itself is the value of k which we created. So we got another relation involving k again. k minus of the value of integral 0 to 2 1 dx that is x between 2 minus 0. So it is 2 by 3 times 4 minus e square is equal to c times e power x integral being e power x only. So this would now reduce to e square minus 3. So let us treat this as an equation 2 now. Now 1 and 2 are two equations involving k and c. So from 1 and 2, can we calculate, eliminate k from both of them? What would we get for c? Yes, when you eliminate k from both these equations, we get the value of c as 1. When we get c as 1, can we write f of x now? Yes, we have a function f of x involving only c here. So what happens from f of x equation using this relation for c value to be 1? We get f of x as e power x minus of e square minus, sorry, e square minus 1 by 3. Now what is required there? We need f of 2 value. That would be e square minus e square minus 1 by 3 or 3 e square minus e square that is 2 e square plus 1 by 3. Let's verify which option it is satisfying. Yes, the option presented B which is 2 e square plus 1 by 3. So the constant integration, constant of integration is evaluated and the function f of x is obtained. And once we have f of x value, evaluating f of 2 is quite a simple calculation.